Catch My Crown. Welcome to the Crown Catch Podcast with your host, Anissa and Robbie. We're so glad to have you back for episode seven. Okay, great. <laughs> of Queendom season two. Um, thank you guys for being so patient with us while we lived our lives and went to see the Twice concert in LA. We are so happy to be back with you guys for us to run down the dance performances from the challenge. So in three words, Nisa, give it to me. What are your thoughts from this episode? We're still doing three words. I thought it was just whatever we wanted to say. I mean, technically it's whatever, but I'm still going to say three words to give it like, if three words or is the general, like, least you can say. I see. You're right. Um, yeah. uh, I called it. <laughs> Desire is the best song and they ate and they won for it. So, yeah, you. <laughs> do, 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 That song was cute. I loved it. <laughs> mm, okay, so let's start off. I will just go straight into the performances. Mm -hmm. So should we talk about Purr first? Yeah, Purr. I'm making Purr. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, okay, honestly, okay, last week or whenever we recorded, I said that OMG's wig was terrible. It's still terrible. It's not a wig. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a wig, so I keep calling it a wig, but it's not a wig. Her own hair, it looked, terrible on stage like when she's moving and dancing with them it did look a little bit better than when she was just sitting down but it was still terrible uh Sinbi looked great on stage though she looked I mean I figured she would be able to keep up with Kepler but she didn't just keep up she actually did pretty good she looked good like she she I think she's a standout for me with her height and her her visuals like she looked good and I liked her styling in that performance. Yeah, something about her styling was just really pretty. Like she I, looked like I think we mentioned it when we were watching it together. She looked like the leader of that yeah group, of that you know? group right yeah she did look like the leader of the of the dance. Mm -hmm. Hikaru ate obviously yeah she she did her thing. I wonder how, <laughs> I would have loved to see her do something else but this is her bag. Yeah, that that's like her, her thing. Yeah. Dion was good, but I feel like she kind of faded into the background a little bit. She did. I was shocked because I thought like this, would, this, this would is her, her thing too. Yeah, right. Shouting looked good. She was passable. Oh, Shouting was great. She I feel like it was her thing, but they didn't focus on her. It's like I feel like Jessica from from Girl G Friend. <laughs> I feel like she was a star and everyone else kind of yeah. like and Unji did her best. She did. I mean, she didn't like stick out like a sword. She she so. wasn't like she wasn't like unha. That was just like, you know, just doing her own thing. But mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't really have much else to say about her. I mean, it was cute. It was nice. I mean, if they were grading the dance and the vocal together, it wouldn't be last. Yeah, but, that's, but it, like in the sense of like what you know, but in in the the you know situation regarding this, I, I think it definitely was like third. Yeah. What was the second dance? The next um, one was exit or exit or exit. Right. I don't know how they called it. We'll call it exit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Hyolin was great as usual, mm -hmm. and I I thought that. I mean, before we watched it, I was scared she would kind of carry the performance. Right, but actually, right. the other two are good. The other two are pretty good, too. Well, um, they're like, they, they're, you know, those two are like the main and lead dancers from Cosmo Girls. So they were able, and I feel like you and I have both been on the Yodam train for like, <laughs> like, like, ooh, we like her since yeah. like Jessica from G Friend was like, Yodam, I'm not your senior. Or like, oh, she's spicy. Yeah. Um, the other so, one, Da Young. Mm -hmm. yeah, she was. She was really, good. I didn't think she would be that good because she was kind of giving me like class clown vibes. But I think she, she has a different perspective, like different character off and on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She was really good, and I, it didn't occur to me like how tall. I don't know if she's actually tall or if she just has tall energy. But I like it. Whatever she has going on, I like it. Yeah, no, I love that too. What was I to say? They need to blend Hyolin's uh, um, extensions. 
The, no. It, it, Remember you, I was telling you it's not supposed to be blended. That was the look, like the cut, and then it was like string. No, string. I didn't like that. <laughs> it was, she said, Bob hair. And it was just like, <laughs> can we stop that? It, and every time when she flung it, it looked great, but then her ending like scene, it was just like, this is mine and this is what I bought. It was mm-hmm. very, very that. But if that's the look she's going for, then I I I'm sorry, I can't, I can't support it. I like blended. That's that's that type of look that is questionable. The right person has to do it to start it as a trend. And more uh, people have to do it until it's a thing. Because I kind of felt the same way about like bangs. You know, those bangs are like half cut like here. Mm. I hate that style. But after a few people started doing it and I started to see it on the right people, then I was like, okay, it could work. It's just that the right person has to do it. <laughs> this is not in this episode. This is in the next episode, but I'm going to talk about it then because I was cutting her up. There's a backup dancer for the WJSN performance. And she has her black natural hair and a blonde ponytail. And I said, what in the Sally's? What in the CBS ponytail is happening here? Uh-uh. And it was, I was like, who, who did she think she was? She said, mm. and I was like, no. You couldn't even have bought a black ponytail just to blend. Like you had, you have the simplest job. She, I was like, that's a look. It just was so stark. Just, anyway, he'll then blend. She should talk to Sakura from the Seraphim. They got her wrong one time, and then you never saw her wrong ever again. No, I have a feeling that Kyolin got exactly what she wanted. She went to the hair salon. She said, hey, not mm-hmm. blended. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> she said, real me and then just put it or underneath better yet they probably tried to blend it and she was like if you guys aren't gonna blend it properly anyways then i'm just gonna make it a statement because this is <laughs> not gonna work why do they, why do they have such a hard time blending over there there's too many too many west africans that live in korea for them to get this wrong it's just oh wow well. and that needs to start hiring the sisters mm-hmm. So the actual performance. Yeah. <laughs> the actual performance was nice. It was, I mean, it was nice. They did well. I mean, they Honestly, it's place. not really my style. They did do well. I don't really like the song. And I didn't really like the... I thought the dance was boring. And I think it was this a downfall for this section of the, the competition. Because... But think if, if Hyanna did something like that with the chains and dominate type You're thing. right. Because if Hyanna did it, it would have... <laughs> yeah. this, it just wasn't given to the right artist is what I was thinking. I was like... yeah. I was like, mm, they're pulling the chains or being rough. And then, you know how Kino would be like, oh, oh, you know how she kind of does. No, that's true because like WJ said, like, I mean, they were fierce, but they were fierce in like a, I'm a college girl way. Kiana would be like fierce. And then like, she would add a little bit of sensuality to it. Like enough to make it good, like not sexual, but she would make it. I mean, it would probably be no, sexual. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah, but you know, she would blend it in a way that it would just work. It would just make sense. Right. Not right. that this didn't work. I mean, it well, was good, but even the even the girl from um, what was that show? The other the dance survival show that was training them, Street Fighter Woman. Yeah, she was like, oh, you guys, you know, you guys really do like the the ethereal and the fresh like vibe really well and they're like they're like can you show us how you would run together and they're like oh yeah <laughs> and they're like no you gotta do this you got kicker and i was like oh shit mm-hmm. yeah but it was i mean it deserves second place for sure mm-hmm. in that batch again yeah yeah i get what you mean yeah <laughs> yeah because everyone did well like i don't really have many complaints it's just like we're, we're, we're comparing like really good like an example really good pieces of fruit like a really good like um, you know, strawberry and ripe season, and we're comparing that with a really good cut of like, of like cantaloupe or something. Both are really great, but you know, mm-hmm. it depends on which is peaking. I don't know. It's just apples or oranges. Um, what's the, so it was called desire. I just kept calling it the, the cat dance. I call. I think it's desire. They have it in straight Korean, and I sure I could read it, but I'm just like, ah, I'm going to keep I, calling it the, the cat name. The name "Desire" is sticking in my head, and I think that's what they said. That's what the translation said. It was "Desire." Watch someone in the comments like it's actually called "Faith and Love and Beauty and Trust," like some weird title. <laughs> um, you go first because you have more to say, and I'm just going to. Oh right, this. I mean, honestly, like I said at the beginning, I kind of called it that. I I had a feeling that this one would win, and the only reason why it was different. It's exactly different. The other two are pretty much the same style. 
This yeah. one, but the thing about it is that the other two are good songs for K-pop, but when it comes to a stage performance and you're and voting dance. on the best performance, yeah, and dance, mm. this song is like, eat, like it was pretty much, it was going to win no matter who did it. I mean, right. the girls did, no, actually, let me not say that because no sh- full shade. I don't think that MG would be a good fit for this one. No, she wouldn't. She should have been in the vocal. That. She should have been in the vocal category with her girl. Yes, That's and I also she, don't think that Dayun from Kepler would have done this song. I think she, she would have done the moves good, but the facials that no, that Unji and Luna gave, she I don't think she would give the same facials. She, she would have gave that the 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 constipated face she gave us in the OOO because sometimes she can get a little constipated. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I want to get her some mess like some fiber, some metamucil. You know, I just want to like help her get to her destination just a little bit. Oh just yeah, a, a little bit. Yeah. Um, but this was good. I loved Auntie. She was really. <laughs> she knew this was up her alley. She knew straight yeah. up. Oh, this is the only choice. This is like the only option for me. I mean, this is straight up her alley. Yeah, she looked good. Like you could tell, she was like ready to do this. And yeah. then Olivia from Luna was the perfect opening for this like performance. Mm-hmm. She has such nice lips, and she was putting that lipstick on. Like I don't know who her mama is, who her who, what her lineage is, but like she has like the perfect like lips for like lip color and this <laughs> yeah <laughs> and how they made it grayscale and then the, like, yeah, the red. The red. I was like that's mm-hmm. nice yeah and then Heejin was nice to look at she's a good center mm-hmm. yeah, was she nice. was the one that I like her but in that style I thought she was Monica remember I was saying in the <laughs> teaser I was like wait they got the street woman fighter on stage with them that's cheating I well, didn't know that, that was her she had that face where you can create yeah that's crazy that's so yeah. crazy she has, a, she has, a, she has she's such not a good cre- face. She has not, she's not created, but you can create her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not like... <laughs> and then she pulls it off so well. Yeah, she's a chameleon. Like, that's kind of... Those were her talents and performance. Wow. They were just so good. That's all I really have to say. I mean, I feel like they dragged on this round so long. Yeah, and, and it was just... <laughs> The, the, the six performances could have been in the same episode. In one episode, <laughs> and the next episode could have been like their like follow up performance where all doing like their own songs. Mm. And I can't wait to talk about it because pantomime. <sighs> I just want to hold on. Yeah, I mean, so how do you feel about the overall ranking? So for the dance unit, Desire was rank one, Kaboom mm. two, and Curve yeah. three. And then yeah, for I the mean- vocal ranking, um, Galaxy and Milky Way was one, thirty three was two, and Sun and Moon was three. I think 33 should have been first. Not in the context for us, but for Koreans, like they seem to really connect with that performance. I liked the Galaxy and Milky Way because that's my taste. So that I feel like in a biased sense, I'm happy that they won, but I don't think that they should have won. Like I, I'm happy that it won because I like that performance. It's my favorite, but objectively, I don't know if it hit the mark for the, for the audience. I feel kind of the opposite. I felt like the Galaxy of Milky Way one was up the alley for what Koreans like. You know, that you know too, I, mean? I think it could go both ways though, because I feel yeah. like, because like if you're, you know, I feel like a lot of Koreans like that, like, oh, they like, um, what, how can I say, like simple signs of affection, like mm-hmm. holding hands are re- is really big over there. Mm-hmm. And then like, oh, he hugged me. And it's like, oh, oh, oh nope. <laughs> But you know what I'm gonna say. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so you know, I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> it's anyway, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, like so they, they can relate with that. And it's like, oh, I wanna hold your hand. Mm-hmm. Then it also like like the friends hold their hands in Korea too, you know, like like yoja, yoja, namja, namja, like they will mm-hmm. do that. So um yeah they can relate with that song but yeah and then on the other hand like 32 was it that group 32 32 32. or 33 33 sorry like they can relate with that because like the perils of growing up and expectations and so it's both ways but i think both both performances were deserving yeah the last I mean, song I personally um, liked Sun and Moon, but even uh, if I chose them as my rank one, I knew that they weren't going to win. You, just based off of the fact that 
like performance wise, I can see that the other two teams gave something more visually appealing. Sudden Moon just kind of stood there. So I was like, okay, they're, they're not going to win, but this is a song that I will stream. <laughs> You're like, they give me what I need. They're, they're standing there in white dresses. It's very Mnet good for them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that little girl's planet <laughs> style to come back for a brief moment. You guys aren't going to win, but you'll win in my heart. I'm not going to mention her name, but you're giving me very her energy. Very Ruanne. You're not going to win. <laughs> but, it was, but you're winning in my heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Such a champion. I think that's I think the, of, yeah, the okay. dance, you, besides vocal, the dance unit was pretty much obvious. Like, it made sense. Yeah, it wasn't, we're not I, as torn on the yeah, dance. Yeah, out of all of the the um, votes that are the rankings and stuff that we've seen so far, I feel like this one made felt the most sense. sense. And I'm glad that the the like points are kind of getting distributed differently now because I would have been mad if Brave Girls was like dead last for this because they're talented women and there's I think the peer voting is a bunch of baloney. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of all I have to say. Yeah, the short one, guys. But we did it. We'll be back. For the next episode, um, I believe we'll record for Sunday. Mm-hmm. So we'll be doing that. Back on our regular schedule. <laughs> on our regular schedule. <laughs> but thank you so much. Let us know what you think in the comment session. We always try and um, interact with you guys as much as we can. We've both been a little busy, but we're trying to get back at it. And we love you guys so much for tuning in every time. Like you guys are amazing. And like since Girls Planet, you guys have been always supporting us. So thank you so much. Mm-hmm. But until next time. Have a great rest of your day.